What's up, guys? We're back on our Cold War Dark Aether grind. And in our last video, our top comment was from Cam again, second time in a row. And he wants to get the Tech 9 done on Mara Day Totem, so that's what we're doing today. So I got it leveled up to level 48. I think that's the level range that I'm trying to shoot for every time I get these guns leveled up. So we can just get, you know, two easy levels in game and then still work on some camo challenges in the meantime. But speaking of camos, our grunge camo is done. We have Rotten Unlocked. We have all 2,500 kills. We need 1,200 more crits, uh, about 600 more pack a punch kills vintage is done fauna is done topo is done and we still need to unlock infection where we will get our jackrabbit medals and for our attachments i'm using the microflex led site with the apex reticle i have the full auto repeater on the tech nine here for our barrel we're using the task force barrel i figured the extra damage and effective damage range is going to help us out a lot i know the lancer barrel does help with armor damage but smgs do fall off pretty quick here so i want all the damage i can get uh we have the mounted flashlight i think the tiger team might do a little better yeah we'll go with the tiger team and then keep the bruiser grip on it uh 39 round mag is the highest mag we have available to us right now uh speed tape is on and for our stock we're going with the sas combat stock i'm going to change this to ring of fire also i have a lot of crystals that i haven't used in a minute so let's go through and see what we can upgrade uh for our ammo mods i have cryo tier 5 this is basically the only one we use while we are grinding camo so don't really need to upgrade anything else but i have all these crystals might as well just get everything up there's shatter blast there's brain rot there's dead wire and napalm burst all the way but tier five our perks are all tier five except i haven't touched tombstone does not you know need any upgrade i hardly ever use it uh mule kick not really using any third weapons so can't really upgrade that our field upgrades every field upgrade we use is uh fully upgraded so tesla storm we use this in outbreak a lot that's fully upgraded toxic growth we'll switch to every once in a while and of course ring of fire is all the way up but we might as well get everything else up as much as we can i have not used these crystals in so long i'm even upgrading energy mine which is ridiculous huge waste of crystals actually I shouldn't have done that. Uh, our weapon classes. This is what I probably should have saved it for. But we have everything tier four. Uh, every class that we've really used is tier five. So we need to save up our crystals for these once we move on to something else. But since we are working on another SMG today, we should be all right. And we're going to be one step closer to getting diamond SMGs. But uh, this is way, way too much talk. Let's go ahead, hop in on Mara de Toten and get this done. All right, here we go. Flying on in into Mauer. I said this last time we played on Mauer, but I really think this is true that the time gap between when Mauer came out and Forsaken came out, it really didn't give us a whole lot of time with this map. I mean, obviously you could play it and all that, but when a new map comes out in zombies, everyone's going to jump to that. And there is like no time in between this coming out and Forsaken. So I really feel like this is going to be one of the forgotten maps in Cold War. I know some people were confused when I was talking about it last time. There, But it's like lifespan, so to say, was uh, pretty short. I feel like people didn't really get an opportunity to spend a whole lot of time with this map so i'm glad that we're coming back to it also i want to apologize for some uh gaps and uploads here uh i've been pretty busy this week and then with uh, the holidays and everything didn't have too much time to record but we're back now and also before we get too deep into the video i just want to say uh, i appreciate all you guys that like and subscribe always appreciate the support and make sure that you leave your suggestions below on what weapons you want to see me do next uh, i keep forgetting to put my comment there of what guns we already have done so make sure you get on me about that if you don't see it there I I always forget after I'm done editing and everything. Like, I'm just like, okay, the video's up. I'm finished, but I gotta put that comment up. But yeah, make sure you leave your suggestions on what weapon you wanna see me do next. I think we're gonna be one SMG away if we come out of this alive with a golden Viper Tech 9, which we should be able to. So we're one away from plague diving here on our SMGs. That'll be another class done. And make sure you leave what map you wanna see me do it on as well. And I've been seeing a lot of people throw out their own little like rule suggestions of something that I should try in game. So many people are saying no rampage inducer. Why is that? Is that, is that the new thing? I thought having a rampage inducer on would be uh, more entertaining, but so many people put no rampage inducer in their comments. I, I'm just like so, so confused by it. All right, where's our Tempest, buddy? He's probably in here by Jug. So I'm gonna grab the loose change while he spawns in. Yep, idiot. Get out of here. Why are you tanking so much damage? Jeez. And I actually have not seen a zombie since I've left that starting room. It's literally only a Tempest. You know. Dr. Jaeger's like Chad, Dr. Peck. I have no money to get in this door because I haven't seen a zombie in three years. So there's one right over here though on the mini map. What are you doing, dude? Get out of here. Well, since we're on this map and we're still waiting for zombies to just show up, I might as well show you guys. Oh wait, never mind. My grappling hook is not there. I gotta take the stairs like a plug. But there's been a new Easter egg or at least a start to one here on Mara de Toten that has been found pretty recently. If we go back here to the starting room, let me take the little zip line. Right when you get off the zip line, if you shoot this, little bubbles come out if you're seeing that. It's like this area of the room is like underwater. Let me throw a C4 and blow that up. Look, 
It's all these huge bubbles. I don't, like, nobody has figured out what this really means, what it's doing here, why it's here, or if it's even been here since, like, the start. But apparently that painting is just, like, magic or something. With all these bubbles flying off of it. And it looks like the bubbles fly off my gun, too. It's like that corner of the map is like it's underwater. And I haven't tested to see if it's the same animations and stuff, like how in Outbreak, uh, if you go under the water on maps like Santor Sanatorium or something. I can't remember all the Outbreak map names. But there are areas where you can swim underwater. And I don't know if it's the same effects that show up from it. Like if this is a bug or something. I know some people have been trying to figure it out, like what it all means. And if you are one of those people that do figure it out, let me know. I'm, I'm really curious about it. But we got no time to be solving Easter eggs. We got camos to get. Let's pop this door open. And let's try to cross the train tracks before the train gets here. Run! Ugh. We made it. Easy. What time to spare? And loose change to grab. Oh, he just kind of slid in. That was clean. <laughs> I think since now we have a full auto weapon, I can't remember what weapon we used last time we were here on Mauer, but we might try doing power room today. I am so ridiculously bad in small areas like penthouse and power room are very, very difficult for me to survive long times in. I feel like uh, Mauer is just especially difficult with uh, the, the amount of elites that spawn and just them having a panzer on this map make it really hard for me. But we're going to try power room today. Uh, last time we we're on here, I said we we're going to try it. And then I'm like, okay, we'll get it when uh, I get all my perks. And then we'll get it when I get pack a punch and all that good stuff. You know, just me moving the gold post so I didn't have to sit in here and embarrass myself. But we'll try it today. I'll stay in here until I lose my free self revive. But that's after I get pack a punch. I really do need pack a punch to start. Oh, I forgot. I, I went to go hit the rope and go up to get pack a punch, but I forgot we need two fuses. Let's pop this open. Never mind. I'm broke. Zombies. Why don't we speed it up over here, huh? Come deliver me my cash. It's been so nice to actually use this weapon in full auto mode. For the longest time, I was having to single tap it to level it up. And I was not going to play multiplayer to level this thing up. I refuse to play multiplayer now in this game. But even like switching to the burst was such a breath of fresh air than having to hit the trigger every time I wanted to shoot a single bullet. Like I am just so over uh, single fire weapons, especially for an SMG. I mean, I get that this thing is a, like used as a pistol in most other games where it's just semi-auto, shoot as fast as you can pull the trigger. But in zombies, it's just not fun. We got enough to open this now. Go ahead and spawn, Tempest. Oh, you're instantly dead. No time to even throw out a lightning bolt or whatever. Tempest would be a cool kind of Pokemon. But speaking of which, uh, I've been playing Diamond a lot uh, in my off time off stream. And I'm getting close to the eighth gym now. I think I, I just caught Dialga. I got him out of, uh, or I caught him with a Premier Ball. And it was uh, pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to get him with that. But let's throw in the fuse here. Throw on the lever. And there's zombies in here that actually kind of scared me. I was not expecting there to be a zombie right in front of me for some reason. But yeah, I've been really enjoying Diamond. I think I'm going to start uh, the Pearl Let's Play soon. I think I'll probably do that on Twitch. And then maybe cut it into the videos. I don't know. I'm still not sure about that. And then I also want to get back to the, the Halo stuff. Maybe do some Halo streams. Maybe some Halo videos. We'll see. Because I've really been enjoying playing Halo a lot. I guess we can stay down here for a little bit. I'll stay down here until I have enough to go buy all that stuff. Go up and grab it and come back down. I feel like that's the best way to do this. But once I do have enough to pack a punch and get dead shot, we'll go up and take out the disciple as quick as possible. I don't want to give that disciple too much time to sit there because I think it'll just make it harder for us to be able to actually turn on pack a punch. This thing does not feel like it has a whole lot of ammo, at least not right now. Yeah, this is a 39 round mag and I feel like it runs out so fast. Once we get a pack a punch, I'm curious to see what the ammo count is there. It's been a while since I've used a Tech-9 in Zombies. Oh, speaking of ammo, it's max ammo. We desperately need that. Good timing on that. All right, I think one more round down here and we should be good to go up and have enough to pack punch our weapon and buy dead shot. I think we're only like a thousand or two away from doing it. But I will say this map probably has the best wonder weapon in this game. The Cerberus is like for sure my favorite. I think it might be like the strongest wonder weapon in this game too. I haven't seen very many comparisons or at least I haven't gone in out and looked for many comparisons on the Cerberus versus the ray gun. But my gut wants to say that the, the Cerberus would beat that. Like it, it's just a cool design to me. 
the just base pistol form is really nice. I got my first round 100 with it. I don't know. I have a lot of attachment to that weapon, but I think we finally have enough. So let's head on up. This is also probably the coolest part about this map. The first time playing it and seeing the pack watch machine with all these zombies just floating here and you don't know what's going on. It was such a cool moment. And then a new enemy gets revealed like this. Like, come on. This map was sick and still is sick. It just didn't get, you know, proper timing. I don't feel like. Okay, let's toss a decoy down. You're going to spawn all these zombies. I'm going to get camos off them. Sightbull, take some shots. Oh, free armor. Thank you, guys. Lots of zombies. Holy shit. Another decoy go. Thank you for the crits, Disciple. You fool. Where even is this Disciple at? Oh, he's right here. What's up, pal? And I'm out of ammo. Hold on. I'll be right back, Disciple. Don't you worry about me. That's twice in just like a few rounds that I've run out of ammo. I hope this thing has better ammo retention once we get a pack-a-punch. That is bad. Let's just kill the Disciple. These zombies will spawn back. Get our pack-a-punch. Get our cryo on it. We have 6,900 sex. What is this? Another decoy. We'll pick that up. And we have like one second here. So this is what the Tech 9 looks like with Maurer's first pack punch camo. This thing looks amazing. I always thought that the, the main camo on this kind of just looks like slurp juice or whatever the hell it's called from Fortnite. I'm pretty sure it's, it's slurp. Whatever the sealed potion was. But let's grab dead shot. And I'm going to try to survive the rest of this round up here. And by try, I just want to stay up here for a second. But let's grab jug as well. Let's get death perception. That way we're, we're still building up on our salvage once we head back down. Get those easy upgrades. And we're already level 50 with this. That's nice. All right. We'll come back up every like three or so rounds to grab our perks. But I don't want to get caught staying up here. Let's check on our mannequin while we're on our way. Let's grab green. Can we get blue? We can. And we got to move. <laughs> there, there's a panzer right behind us. I'm going to wait for that panzer to get in this room before I pop my ring of fire and just try to fuck him up. Oh, there he is. Immediately gone. Ring of fire is broken. So busted. I love it. And the worst thing is with ring of fire in, in Vanguard, like seeing people use ring of fire and everything in the trailer, I was like, oh, let's go. We got ring of fire back gonna be easy smooth sailing to get these camos you try ring of fire in vanguard one most of the time it doesn't spawn underneath you like it'll just get thrown in whatever direction you're looking and two it still takes ammo from your mag like there's no upgrading ring of fire you just do a little more damage i think and it's just really disappointing so i've, I've gotten kind of bored with vanguard zombies i know everybody's still like mad about it or whatever and we're bored of it from the start i thought it was kind of fun to grind on there but it gets super super repetitive fast like i might be doing the same thing here constantly but at least like I, it feels like i'm progressing like uh, i don't know it's hard to explain it's just like the same events over and over again it's like playing outbreak and only having like one map for outbreak and every event is the same i mean i'm still gonna be grinding on there every once in a while but maybe i'll just do like when i get plague diamond from here on out it's cold war such a more fun experience i I'm, I'm definitely enjoying playing this so much more than I am Vanguard. I just hope that uh, when season one comes out for Vanguard, there's some big changes to zombies. You can't say I didn't try it. I mean, I, I've I've played a big portion of, of Vanguard zombies. I feel like I got to be like one of the top players in playtime on there. Like even if I'm not even close to Dark Aether over there, I've, I feel like I've played it enough to be able to criticize it. And we're out of ammo again. This thing got no ammo. I'm going to box the shit out of the zombie before I do anything though. Oh, double points. Perfect. I need to run to the closest ammo box. I don't know where that is. Oh, right here. All right, let's get these kills while we got double points up. We need to get mule kick if this is going to be a problem. Oh, I dropped a battery. Let's grab that. Oh, and a little intel. One zombie here. We're going to hurdle him. And we got to head up and get mule kick immediately. We cannot be having this type of ammo problem. So there's mule kick. Uh, what else should we get? Quick revive just for that health recovery. Speed cola will help. Let's head down. Oh, I forgot I don't have stamina up. That hurt. And we're back home. Just slaying zombies. I want to turn the rampage inducer on, but I know I'm going to get fucked up. Like, maybe that's why you guys have been commenting for me to not use it. But I feel like I've done pretty well with it recently. I don't know. It's just whenever I'm on the fence about turning it on is usually when I end up going down. But maybe since we're a little more set up, I'll, I'll be, like, safer. I'll leave a zombie at the end of this round, and then we'll go try it. If it gets too crazy, there's always the option to go and turn it off. And I forgot to leave the zombie. Well, okay. Next round. There's always next round. Yep. I definitely want it just for like the in-between times and rounds here. I just run in circles till zombies show up and it feels like I'm doing it forever. Oh, what's up, Disciple? Get the fuck out of here. Disciple's got such a cool design and everything. And like, I like the idea behind it, but it's still pretty annoying to, to go against. Especially like trying to get crits and stuff. You have to like, constantly readjust your aim. Like I really just noticed how out of the normal they were when grinding the ZRG on my main account. Like it's just, it's, it's very, very annoying when they're flying over and buffing every zombie that is in your path or they just start like health sapping you. All right, up the rope. They got the zombie. Goodbye. They got this zombie. Goodbye. Take another rope. Shoot the bubbles. 
Yeah. Now let's turn on Rampage Inducer. Now I'm scared. Now I'm frightened. Let's try to make it all the way back down without dying. The Rampage Inducer and where we're grinding camos at are on complete opposite sides of the map mayhem <laughs> just listen to mayhem but like our our grinding spot is literally the furthest area away all the way on this side of the map and below ground will the rampage inducer is all the way at spawn on the third or 18th floor whatever floor that building is or well, it's as high up as you can go let me upgrade anything while we're here we'll get armor level two and three we're gonna need three levels of armor for this and let's see what our first round of rampage inducers like down here i think we should be good to go let's go contamination camo let's pop our ring of fire probably don't need it but want to use it so i can just avoid reloading and level 51 let's go round ended zombies should be spawning back very soon nope it's a torment around forgot about these tormentors are i used to think they're annoying until i played vanguard and the boom shriekers or boom shears or whatever they're called in there they're basically tormentors but they just do insane amounts of damage they do way way more damage than these guys do they're like tormentors are nothing now to me gonna be one more actually oh never mind there's another one but what i do like about these tormentor rounds is instead of the max ammo spawning on them where you kill them it spawns on you which is nice you don't have to go running for it oh and there's a panzer but he's getting messed up so am i though holy shit Let's throw a stun. No, that's a decoy. I'm throwing a nade. I, I, I can't do the sticks down here. I can't do it. This is tough. I have a ring of fire though. You know what? I can do it. Why don't I just start saying I can instead of I can't? And then, you know, maybe I can actually get through some shit. When he's accidentally philosophical and he wins the round during it. Let's go. But he wasted his ring of fire, kind of. Actually, no, we're good. Zombies spawn back fast. It's not a waste. With our insta kill though, and we're not gonna be able to get that back for a minute. Double points, we take those. Should have probably grabbed a perk while I was out, but we're chilling. As long as a panzer doesn't show up, we're like fine. Knock on wood. Ooh, armor, give me that. Even if it's outside the map. Actually, speaking of outside the map, the one time Samuel and I, Samuel the 17th, uh, tried to go for round 100, it was on this map. Oh, uh, during the whole like mid Easter egg glitch thing. Oh, I got to throw a decoy. But it was like during the Easter egg glitch thing where you can have the container on you and it would just be like insta kills, like the easiest round 100 ever. So we're, we're going to do that. And then I got I ended up getting glitched into the zombie spawn right here. So if you guys want to see that, I'll probably have the link to that uh, in the description of this video. That was uh, pretty wild when that happened. I don't think I've ever seen a crazier, crazier glitch in this game. That was completely safe in there too. The rounds are still going. And we ended up trying to do some crazy stuff to get out of it. So you guys should definitely check that out. That was a long time ago, though. Oh, I'm not getting a whole lot of crits here. It's like my ring of fire is killing them faster than I can. There's our conviction camo. Surprised we actually got a jackrabbit medal down here. Oh my god, there's another panzer. Nade the ground. I couldn't nade it in time. And we're down. Let's see if we can get up without wasting our self-revive. There we go. Throwing down a decoy. Everyone can go to that. Let me try to build up this ring of fire. This is so tough. This is definitely not uh, prime for grinding camos. Especially when I lose my dead shot. You know what? I'm just going to run away. I'm going to grab my, my loot and I'm running. There's like three zombies left. This is the perfect opportunity to get my perks back. Pack a punch and all that good stuff. Let's go up the rope. First thing we're getting back is dead shot, then mule kick, then quick revive, speed cola, stamina up. And we're going to need PhD if we're down there because I'm going to need to nade down at myself to free myself up a little bit. But unfortunately, spending all that money on perks and going down to rebuy those perks does not look like we can get what's it called back or not not back, but we cannot get our pack a punch. Jeez, I am lacking today. Oh, another tempest round okay or tormentor whatever the hell they're called i don't even know i'm gonna try to stay down here for like five more rounds but if i go down again i'm not risking it let me just buy oh wait i already have another self revive i didn't even use mine that's what happened i, I quick revive but why drop a max ammo after a max ammo just spawned why is that why do they do that what's the point okay we're kind of going in now it's very chaotic it's just very me like jiggle aiming to get that dead shot going with nothing but crazy explosions and everything popping up we gotta reload i'm gonna throw another decoy down decoys are so good in this game it's actually ridiculous reload the weapon disciple leave let's go we made it another round we live to tell another day or what what is this saying i don't know i'm at war i can't think i'm gonna go down again decoy go yeah enjoy that decoy you fucking idiot we got insta kill though oh Oh, no, I'm the idiot. I'm the fucking idiot. I'm the idiot. Nade the ground. Let's go. We made it back up immediately. Got a ring of fire to survive down here. Yep, I definitely got to leave this spot. I'm going to waste so much money getting perks here. 
That's ridiculous. I'll keep the rampage inducer on, but I'm not staying down here. I can't do it. Let's refill our armor since we're right here. And then try to make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. I'm going back up to my, my safe spot, my home, up by the Wonder Fizz. I definitely think that this spot's so much safer. It's not help for salvage drops, though. I'll say that. No, 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 no. Okay, I died again. And I don't have quick revive, so I have to self-revive here. Immediately buy quick revive just to keep the run going. Okay, we're we're safe. We're safe for now. Gee, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna decoy down. Maybe it's just a rampage inducer that's messing me up. I'm gonna keep it on. I'm not turning it off. I'm no bitch. I'm kind of a bitch, but I'm not that big of a bitch. We're definitely gonna need these double points to reimburse us for every time we go down. And we got our chemical camo. We're all done with our pack punch kills. I thought I would have got that done way sooner, but we still need so many crits. This is easy crits, actually. Hold on. We're catching up on crits real fast. Where are we at now? 536 out of 813. That's not too terrible. I definitely have done worse. We need meal kick for sure. PhD. And I think we're good for now. We just gotta save up for pack punch because these rounds are gonna catch up with us and this pack one's not gonna be doing as much. And there's a panzer, of course. I really need to save up on my uh, ring of fires here. Oh shit, it's here. We gotta go. Gotta dip. Do a quick loop. Try to get a few kills here. I'll get some damage in on the panzer. The panzer is literally taking no damage. We need a ring of fire to kill this. Come on, zombies. Just feed me kills so I can get this ring of fire going. I'm actually not too far off from getting it. Disciple, you can leave too if you want. You know, just kind of get the fuck out of here. That'd be sweet. Please. There we go. That's one. And this should be my ring of fire right here with all the elites in the back. Can't come. Oh, of course. I say all the elites in the back. Guess what? Panzer just box jumps 400 feet to me. Dude's got legs of steel. I actually quite literally legs of steel. But no, actually, Joe, those panzers are made of titanium. Shut up. Don't care. We have ring of fire plus ratio. All right. Wait for him to jump. There we go. Goodbye, Panzer. Nice knowing you, little bitch. Now we can just dismantle the rest of this round in all of its laggy, intense fashion. Let's go. We're popping off. Look at these crits. Look at them go. All yellows. No whammies. Oh, reload. That's a whammy. Back to no whammies. No whammy Wednesday on a Friday. Oh, we got enough to get packed too. Let's do that while the disciple's just sticking around over here. I don't know where he's going. What's up, disciple? We're grabbing pack two. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna refill our armor, get this to purple. And now we're just saving up for gold. What the hell is this? Okay, he's actually attacking me now. I thought he was just roaming the map. What are you doing? All right, well, while we have this stupid disciple, this is what pack two looks like here on Maur. I like this game a lot. It's got the slurp juice again. Get the fuck away from you, dude. But this time with the green accent in the little hex pattern here. I can't remember if the hex pattern is there on pack one, but it's here now. Looks pretty cool. These pack camos were really sick when they came out. Just seeing different ones from Mauer, or not from Mauer, from Firebase in D Machina. It was a very nice experience. All right, Disciple, you can leave now. You can go. Thanks. Oh, and thanks for the armor. Jeez. Every five rounds, there's a dog round? Is that, is that what's happening? They want to bring me ammo, and they can bring me ammo. I don't care. I'm pretty sure right here, I'm like completely safe from Tormentors too, as long as I just get the shot in as they're spawning. Yeah, I have not been touched. Go ahead, spawn again. Oh, there you go. Sleep. Next. Sleep. Next. On. One more. On. Easy round. Double points. Let's go. And there's a Mangler which is Shleep. Oh, no, he's not. I got the guy behind him. He's gonna be Shleep, or he'll wish he was. Oh, shit. These zombies are getting fast. Ring of fire time, baby. Disciple's gotta fuck off, dude. Scaring the hose away. Don't want that nuke. We want all the kills we can get here. Reload faster. I'm gonna throw that decoy because there's a lot going on right here. I'm gonna take out the Disciple while they're all distracted. Oh, there's two of them. I think they're both dead. I need to jump off and then we climb right back up. That's the beauty of this spot. We can sit here, collect all of our loot and then just get the world's easiest crits as they try to climb back up. Go ahead, jump on. And there's nothing else we can really buy. We were just saving for pack three now. We got a ring of fire at the ready whenever we need it, which might be very soon based on how slow that reload is, even with speed cola. But we're, we're making our way through right now. And now's a good time to use it. Once two zombies hit me in a row, that's when I know shit's about to go down. We have an insta kill and a max ammo just sitting in front of us. I've been seeing power ups like crazy. When I was getting this thing leveled up, I was sitting there in that spot that we used in our last D Machina video. And I was getting every power up every round. It was three pop, like the max amount of power-ups you can get around i think is like two or three i was getting all three every single round sometimes one right after the other like they must have tweaked the odds on them or something it's ridiculous the amount i've been seeing we have enough to get pack three let's grab that real quick before a zombie starts spawning in and then i will show it off at the soonest possible moment disciples getting fucked before i even touch touch foot up here i am not dealing with them double points let's go rampage inducer really gives you no time down though i mean i love it because the rounds are so much faster but the times where i need to show off pack which came out kind of gets crazy Max ammo, let's go. We're kind of just demolishing up here. 
pack three is really doing wonders. All right, now we got one zombie left, two zombies left. I'm gonna take them out. This is what pack crunch three looks like here on Maurer. I really do like this third pack of bunch camo, seeing that the accent color is gold and the main color here is purple, which is like the best variation of this, like the purple and blue. But once it turns to that piss yellow, it kind of forms to like some weird poop green. I don't like that. I don't know. I feel like it, it, if they just remove that kind of color pattern from it, I, this would be like the best pack crunch camo in the game but it still has its ugly parts so you know it, it's just just a little criticism for me oh uh, nuke i don't want a nuke might have actually helped me out though oh there's a panzer yep it definitely helped me don't got any zombies around to have this thing like join forces with we're definitely doing way more damage to it now you're squishy as fuck now buddy sit down all right let's climb back up disciple Get the hell out of here. All right, we made it to round 30. Uh, still, I mean, I don't know why I keep checking the Wonder Fizz, like some new perk's gonna be in there, but I just got this money and nothing to spend it on. And we're at 917 grits, hold on. Out of 1,248 eliminations, that's not bad, bad at all. We've kind of kept the same uh, gap from earlier. Like we were doing really nice on crits. I'm pretty sure we only needed 1,000, like 200 or something like that. So we're getting close, we're almost done here. But it, uh, what we found out today, I mean, I, I already knew this, but we had to give it another test. I am not not cut out for that power room, especially with the rampage inducer on. I had to get out of there super early, like round fiend or something like that. Disciple, please leave. I am not letting you even live a second after spawning. Most annoying mob. All right, let's ring of fire. I feel like every time I use my ring of fire, a panzer shows up after, so hopefully one doesn't. Mangler, though. Bad time to spawn, pal. Same with you, Disciple. Oh, uh, max ammo. Easy. No. I hate it. I hate it here. I really do. No, 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 no. Actually, this is round 30. How the fuck am I going to get back up? How am I going to get back up? No. Disciple, you better come back up here, pal. This is your fault. Oh, come on. I don't have any ammo left and I can't. No, please stay up here. Stay with me. Come here. <laughs> Get knife. Come on. Come on. Stop falling over. Please. Oh, no. We're so close. No. Oh, what is wrong with me? I went down four times. 1,338 eliminations, 995 crits. We have to be super close. That's the worst part about dying at like round 30 is how long it takes to get back up to round 30. Man, went down four times. Midway through that, I was going to say, it sucks that the aim assist like always pulls up towards the disciples and then you don't shoot any of the zombies in front of you. And then that happens. And I forgot I didn't have a self revive. That really sucks. I didn't have elemental to help get me up either with electric cherry, but let's see. Oh my god, we were 150 crits away. We gotta restart. This is stupid. I'm hopping back in. All right, drop me off. Let's make the walk of shame back in. I'm pissed. Just literally 150 crits short. We're already all set up. We were literally one round away from getting it. And now to get up to 150 crits, especially with the way I'm aiming, hold on. It's gonna take at least 10 rounds. Do you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna turn rampage inducer back on because that worked so well for us last time. I hate it. I'm hardly surprised. Oh. Oh, Pack's here too. Fuck off, Pack. You just had to show up to piss me off. I'm shooting the bubble painting. Bubbles, please give me life. All right. Let's do this. Let's hit the zip line. <sighs> this is the worst. I had to say, oh, if we make it out. We didn't. I. It's always commentator's curse. Always is. Let's grab this loose change. We have enough to open this now. And if we grab this loose change as well. Have a little more cash. Please lay down. Thank you. I'm going to use this spot for now. I'm going to try to get out of here without even turning on power. I just want to get this done. That shot would be extremely helpful though. A max ammo at round three. Oh, round two is when it dropped. Very helpful game. Thank you. Actually, do I need to turn on power to even buy dead shot? Maybe I will turn power on. It's going to take so much longer if I don't have that shot. Oh, well, I'll try to survive here for a bit until I have enough money to open all the doors to get there, I guess. Reload, please. And a nuke. Spawn right on top of me. We're getting half the crits. No! Why is there always pain and suffering? Why can't it end? Oh, I mean, by that, I don't mean end the game. Don't end the game. Don't knock me. I'm uh, I'm not trying that. Never mind. I take back everything I said. I love this. This is lovely. And we're just going to head there immediately. Try to find our Tempest, buddy. Where are you, Tempest? Don't be shy. What the hell is that? Oh. This is literally just a satellite dish. I was kind of getting scared. I'm going to buy Jug right now. Oh, never mind. I can't. Guess what we have to do? Turn on power. Okay, I'm going to need a ring of fire somewhere. Let's ring a fire right in front of the Maxis phone booth. There we go. Come here, Tempest. Come get some. Give me that charge. And we're going to go down the manhole way. Not an electrician, are you? So why'd you pick that up? Shut up, Peck. What the fuck up? No mood for you. Let's grab a dead shot so we change. Try to make it across the tracks. Easy. We can open the door immediately. We're speed running now. Open this door too. Grab this loose change. Come on. I need to put in my spark plug, whatever it is. Electrical fuse. And let's try to find this other Tempest so we can kill him. Start the power. 
grab dead shot and then get on with our lives grab this loose change stop tempest goodbye tempest give me that there's our fuse throw on the power bada bing bada boom we get the fuck out of here they're beating my ass i need to leave grab dead shot there we go we're in business for now climb the rope you know what i don't even care about pack punch not even gonna go near it nope don't need any disciples spawning no sir i'm gonna sit right up here by my handy wonder fizz we're just gonna get camos pretend like nothing happened oh shit please don't go down again mm, fucking crawler get domed idiot okay well at least we have enough to buy dead shot back immediately i swear if i die again we just will not get this weapon done i'm, I'm lying completely i will get it done there's no way i'm gonna leave it like with four crits left like please uh, I, I just need a little more to be able to get quick revive and keep this thing going no hit the zip line go Roll up the rope there's a double points there don't go away i need you i do need a little revive thank you for letting me know wonder fizz i need a little jug too they're hitting hard you guys mind giving me a little cash can we afford it we can Oof. we're at 90 crits it's a little more i have one bullet oh please don't die oh 38 health 38 health for the ammo thank you on the rope it's weird that our our base ammo is 429 almost weed instead of just having like a, a nice round number like joe 429 is actually a multiple of 39 which is what your mag is shut up sleep oh he's actually sleeping in the air sleep I want that nuke. I just want to get these kills and get out. Maybe we can even exfil. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, 137. Extremely close. I'm going to grab Mule Kick. It seems like we can't even hang on to any ammo that we have. Of course, I used my, my Ring of Fire the round before a Panzer decides to show up. That's cool. I'm jumping down. I don't need to deal with you. You can jump back down here, pal. I got crits to get. I leveled up, though. Is that is that Gold Viper? Let's go. We got it. We fucking got it. All right. If I die here, I die here. This is my last stand. I'm going to die here. I'm nading the ground. Okay, I'm down. But I'm not out. I might be out soon, though. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot the gun. Shoot the gun. Shoot the gun. Nade. That's game right there. Yep. All right. We got our gold viper. We got out. Don't care. Didn't ask. What? 211 kills, 160 crits, and three downs. So we went down seven times today. That last one there was intentional, but I, I, I have no other excuses besides that. I just suck. All right. Let's just get on with it. This is what the Tech 9 looks like with gold viper. Pretty good coverage, honestly. That looks nice. A whole lot of the gun is covered here decent uh plague diamond we are one away now but here is the coverage on it very very nice as well looking slick we are one smg away so if you want to make me happy uh and if that gets top comment i'll be steezed and then dark aether looks pretty good on it as well uh this the dlc weapons past like season one all have pretty decent coverage so I'm very happy with this let's go see what it looks like in game with gold viper all right this is what the tech nine looks like with gold viper in game and this thing is way more covered than i thought like every inch of this is just gold viper it's got the little black accent on it for for just the raw metal but it's it's pretty clean on this it's looking nice let me see if i can find a spot where it's like way in the sun that's looking a little better there's got to be a better spot there we go this is where you can see the gold on it extra nice this thing is clean this is even better look right here so there you have it another smg down we are one away so like i said leave your suggestions down below i'll be extra happy if they are smg suggestions but that's where i'm gonna have to end today's video so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please hit subscribe and put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later